watching this um, yeah um, some things happened with in regards to the old channel name um, I pulled it from some lyrics from a band who have since been um, accused of some some of accused of sexual assault and I'm just not you know, personally comfortable keeping that name. I don't really soured on my attachment to that that band, and so we are now the Upside Down Church. And yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while since I made a video. Started a new job. I'm a full-blown garbage man now, working lots of hours. So it's been quite the adjustment, but getting back into the the hang of things, hoping to crank out um, some videos on a regular basis. I know even before this kind of extended time off, I wasn't super consistent, but I'm hoping to hoping to get consistent now and put out at least one a week. Fingers crossed on that. But I figured I'd uh, jump back in, keep this one pretty pretty simple and easy. Um, not going to go deep on anything, not going to pull out any, um, any like underground black metal shit like I have in the past. Um, this is all going to be pretty mainstream shit that you all have probably heard countless times I just want to show it off make an easy video but before we get into that in the background we are listening to yeah necrosexual seeds of seduction that's that's pure seduction right there don't y'all y'all just want to bite of that meat it's a nice slab of I believe that's roast beef right there but yeah pretty uh, solid um, I'm not sure if it's an album or an EP. I think it's an EP. Um, it says, uh, I believe it's kind of a one-man band, but he's got, um, no, there's three different members here. Um, but, yeah, based out of Philadelphia, or near Philadelphia, and this cassette version was put out through... Full Finger Records, kind of a odd release for them, but still really cool. So yeah, let's dive into this. Figured um, it's high time to get some bathroom in the collection. I don't. I've got a couple bootleg cassettes, but that's it. So. I figured it's high time to get the get some of my favorites. We got Nordland one and two here. Um, this was the Black Mark repress. Uh, I think these were repressed this year or last. Um, not a lot here. Black vinyl. Gatefold with all the lyrics. Um, no inserts. Yeah, pretty bare bones, but you know, it's got the music, and that's what matters. 
my, yeah, I don't know if I said it, but Nordland's probably my favorite output from, from Bathory. And then I also got either my, probably my second favorite, maybe third. Got Hammer Heart. Um, same thing here, um, except this one's not a gatefold, but it's also, it's a black mark press. Um, it does come with the lyric sheet. Completely black, black on that. They could have put something there. But yeah, there's the lyrics. Yeah, that's all that's on this one. And then artwork, the ultimate edition. Um, it's not that ultimate, if you ask me. All it has is what? What was the set? The other part, the full dynamic range. And then the demos on the second disc. An another kind of bare bones packaging. Eightfold. Not even the lyrics. Not even lyrics with this one, but yeah. Another much needed album into the collection. Heartworks, my favorite carcass output. I haven't listened to all of it. I know the the early stuff isn't gonna really be my cup of tea. I haven't dove into that yet. Um, really enjoy the new one. I've got that one in the collection too. So if I feel like I have anything to add on that. I'll have to talk about it on another video, but we'll see. about some aspects. These are the Nessie presses of the rack and Last Man on Earth, or the Last One on Earth. Last One on Earth. Last Man on Earth is a show. Um, yeah, I was super happy to see uh, Nessie put these out. Okay, so some room here. Pretty new to the party on aspects as I am on, you know, everything in general. Um, yeah, this one isn't a gatefold, but it's got the little OE strip. Back there. Front. Still need to pick up the newest aspects. Insert there. The other side of it. And then printed sleeve with the lyrics there. Pictures and credits there. And then this is pretty cool. I put a liner little sleeve in this, but. Gold splatter on black, gold and silver splatter. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Then let's take a look at the rack. So we love taking a look at the rack. Working with a different phone now than I had before, um, so I'm getting used to that. Deep hold for this one. And 
another lyric that's just like, or another insert that's just like that one that I showed on that one, that white insert. There's the Aztecs logo spot gloss on there. Not spot gloss, it's just a darker shade of black printed on there. And then band photos. And then same deal, it's got that liner sleeve in here. And another silver and gold splatter on black. And then, it's pretty cool. Not really a classic, but it's an interpretation of a classic. We got Holy Diver Live. This was a live show um, in London. See, yeah, I think it what did it say in here? October 22nd, 2005 at the Astoria Theater in London. They played all of Holy Diver, um, which is an impossible album to find on vinyl for a decent price, but that's one that should be in, in print at all times. I don't get why it's so hard to find. So, this will have to do for now. It's a triple LP, printed sleeves. Um, pretty much the same artwork on the on all three sleeves, so I'm only gonna show you the one. Yeah, it's got that, and then it's got a bunch of just a uh, bunch of like Black Sabbath songs and Rainbow songs that he plays as well, as well as some of his other big hits. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, to show off a couple I got through the, the Gimme Metal Vinyl Cl Club. It's pretty cool, it's um, helping fill in these these holes that I don't really you know, seek out to, to fill in the collection, but they're definitely albums worth having, such as um, Star Spawn by Blood Incantation. On this uh, cool black and orange, not black and orange, red and orange. Really, gonna be one of those guys. Really compliments that artwork. It's always great when the when they put the care into making sure the vinyl color matches the the album art. And lyric insert. So I got that one. I think I pulled out one other to show on this video at least for thumbnails. Yeah. Under a funeral moon. That's on silver. Uh, it's kind of got a wave effect in there. I don't know if that shows up. I'm just not. It's got one of these seals on it, and I'm not going to pull it out to show you. But yeah, give me vinyl. has been a pretty cool, cool service. It's like 30 bucks a month. And that's with shipping and everything, so you're not really getting these albums for, you know, that. You're paying the same to get them out in the wild. So, and it's, it's cool because you can, um, they let you know ahead of time what's coming. So you can um, say yay or nay if you want it that month. So they'll just stop your payment for the month if you don't want it. Unfortunately, I wasn't paying attention this month, so I've got a ghost final on the way. I'm not a big fan of ghost, so I think I I have somebody in mind to send that to. So I'll probably just use it as a VCLT. But yeah. What else are we gonna show? Yeah, I was pricing these a dozen times recently. The Satyricon reissues. Re uh, we've got colored ones. That orangish reddish one, and then the 
the gold for Dark med Medieval. Um, flip that real quick. Nemesis Divina. Had this one for a little bit. Um, Satyricon, of course. Here, it sh show that with those two. At the Heart of Winter, my favorite Immortal album. Figured it was high time to get that in since it wasn't included in the um, box set that you, you might be able to see right there. Was it on the cassettes? I have most of those cassettes on vinyl as well. But just trying to finish off that collection. I don't know why it took me so long to get my favorite one. It's kind of on this sea green vinyl, kind of transparent sea green. Ah. Time Ghoul. This is a compilation of all their work. It's on a red and orange. Yeah, this is this this album is fuck or this material is fucking awesome. It's a shame they put out so little. Mm. Um, got a couple more. Yeah. Got the last in line by Dio. Right. This one rivals Holy Diver for being their best. Um, it's, a, I'd say it's a close second. But yeah, found that at a local shop, picked it up, and then Cryptopsy. Only worm is real. Um, this is a live show, I believe, before any of their albums came out. It's all stuff that was on their first album. It was live August 13th, 1994. And this was put out by Reek of Death Records. Look, it's not a colored. There's the back, there's the tracks they play. Splatter. I think it's uh, like a maroon multicolor splatter on it. Big fan of the first couple Cryptopsy albums. So that's a cool album to have in the collection. And then an album I never thought I would. But that I'd have in the collection of a band I never thought I'd, you know, pick up. I checked them out a couple times, nothing ever really clicked with me. Um, and one day I was on scrolling on my phone and saw a a uh, post by my local shop, the one that my main local shop. So they got this album in. For some reason, I was like, oh. Let's go listen to that on Spotify, see if see if I care for it. And that album is Eaten Back to Life by Cannibal Corpse. Yeah, they finally they finally clicked with me. Probably probably just hadn't listened to the right stuff before, I don't know. But yeah, this is fucking awesome. Um, it is on a clear with red splatter, kind of a blood red, kind of a cool effect on there, but yeah, pretty, pretty happy to have came around on um, Cannibal Corpse, at least on the, I haven't dug past this yet. I know they've got, I think, the third album, 
So I need to listen to that one. They have like 10 copies of it, so I wasn't in a hurry to pick it up. But I'm going to probably listen to that one this week sometime. See if I want to pick it up. But yeah. Um, album's over. Or EP's over. That's everything I had to show. So until next time.